Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture, where we just talk about everything, entertainment, and what's going on. Michael Jordan, basketball great, one of the greatest players of all time. Is he drinking too much? He was coming out of his New York City hotel with his eyes were redder than red. Redder than, <laughs> look at his nose, his eyes were red. Okay, so he was holding a bottle of tequila, right? And he had a box of tequila. The tequila, the bottle was open. Michael Jordan, you out here drinking? Stop. His daughter just got engaged. Michael, it's not a, it's not a good look. It's not. It's just not a good look. Let's talk movies. The Incredibles 2, 180 million. Superfly, which cost between 20 and 25 million to make, only took in 9 million at the box office. And John Travolta's Gotti. Didn't do well. Now, it only was in 503 theaters, and it actually did well in cities that he visited. Philadelphia, New York, Detroit. But the critics panned it. Now, this is the thing. Audiences loved it. I mean, they, they love a good mob movie. Do you think the fact that John Travolta with the Scientology thing that's gotten away of his career, I think that's what's happened with Tom Cruise. I mean, they're still working, but are the critics mandating, like, this is an awful movie? Because sometimes you can listen to the critics, but let's face it, sometimes you can't. Samuel L. Jackson. He says, they just keep trying me. He put a post on Twitter that the men in the White House are all wearing knee pads and diapers. Was that a slur? I'm not sure. Keisha Knight Pulliam, little Rudy from the Cosby Show, is now a rapper. She went through a very difficult divorce with Ed Hartwell. He didn't want the baby after she got pregnant. and She's trying to make it happen. I should have got a prenup as her new song. Yes, Rudy is out here rapping. <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce, everything is love. You can find it everywhere. Amazon, Tidal, Apple, Spotify. There's a song on there called Ape Shit that I really, really love. And Summer, and then there was another one. But Jay and Beyonce are currently doing their On The Run tour. Janet Jackson. They're saying that she's being controlled by her brother, Randy. Janet's going through a very messy divorce with Wissam, the Muslim billionaire. She left him right after the baby. You know, they said he was controlling and, you know. Okay, so a few weeks ago, the cops were called to Wissam's house. This was all in California because he's trying to be near the baby. The baby was with him. The cops came there saying... There was reports of something going on. So they were looking for drugs, looking for stuff. And Wissam was like, I'm a very peaceful Muslim. None of this is going on. Well, Wissam has gone public saying that Randy Jackson is stirring the pot. Why would Randy Jackson stir the pot? Because him and Janet are this close. They're very close. They're very close. Matter of fact, years ago, they beat up their dad's side chick. Yes, Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. They're very close. Randy wants Janet to get away from Wissam and have her child. But they're going to have to do like a little share of custody because the baby was born in London. So this divorce continues to be messy. But Wissam has just thrown Randy Jackson all under the bus and said Randy is the cause of their problems. So what's next for Tiffany Haddish after the MTV Movie Awards? There's the Uncle Drew movie, which opens at the end of the month. She is doing... A new Tyler Perry movie with Whoopi Goldberg, Tika Sumter, Amber Riley, Omari Hardwick, Nobody's Fool. The trailer is out. It comes in theaters in November. She's filming a movie, The Kitchen, with Melissa McCarthy. She is definitely that it girl. She is returning to The Last OG. Is there a little tension between her and Tracy Morgan? Just a little. But I'm sure that they will work it out. Have you guys heard of Freckling? It's a new dating term. The, they're, they're, they're taking old things and giving them these new spins. Like ghosting. When you're seeing somebody and all of a sudden they disappear. Or love bombing. They meet you on a Monday. By Tuesday they're in love. By Wednesday they're proposing marriage and come with me. But by Friday they're gone. 
that's called love bombing. Uh, breadcrumbing is when it's like, say you got a piece of cake and there are crumbs around the cake. And you're like, no, I want that cake. I don't want no crumbs. I want the cake. Breadcrumbing, when a person gives you just a little to keep you interested. Well, the new thing, everybody, is freckling, which is another word for summer fling. Our prayer is going out to actress Heather Locklear. She is having a difficult time. The 56-year-old actress, best known for T.J. Hooker, Dynasty, Melrose Place. She was definitely one of my favorites. Hospitalized for threatening to shoot herself. Heather Locklear was arrested earlier this year for domestic abuse. She beat up a boyfriend, bit the cop. She's been having drug and alcohol problems for, for a while. And now she's being hospitalized. Let's hope she gets it together. Oprah Winfrey's new show, Love Is, debuts on OWN. It airs Tuesday, 9 to 10. They're saying this show is the love story that Black America has been waiting for. It's about Celine McKeel and Mara Brock Akil. They brought us the game. They brought us being Mary Jane. Very successful couple. And they're saying that this new series on OWN is about them. Blackish star Tracy Ellis Ross, 45. She did a funny interview with Vanity Fair magazine. She said, get out of my uterus. Now, what does that mean? A lot of times you go through stuff because people are like, how you ain't married? When you gonna have a baby? Da, 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 da. Well, Tracy said she is tired of people asking her about having a baby, and she says to get out of her uterus. Rapper Ti is cheating on his wife Tiny again. If you have an open marriage, though, is it considered cheating? Because they do have video of Ti stepping out. Well, in a recent interview. T.I. said that most women want to be married to impress their friends. Do most women want to get married to impress their friends? I don't know. I don't know, but he is cheating on Diane again. There's video. Jerry Springer, production has stopped on the show. This show has been on so long that I actually thought it was over. 27 years. I'm hearing that the CW Network is going to pick it up. Kirk Franklin, the gospel sensation, recently admitted that his sister was sentenced to 30 years in prison. His sister had had a past drug abuse history. No one is saying what she's in there for, but Kirk says that he wished he could have really done more. Roseanne, the reboot, it is happening. It's going to center on the girl that's on the talk. Sarah Gilbert. It's going to center on her so they can keep jobs. And wait, wait, I'm going to tell you why they're doing a reboot. They've already been promised $300,000 an episode. $300,000 an episode. I didn't say for the year. They said, y'all going to work. We're going to retool this and just really remove Roseanne from the scenario. Cardi being offset on the cover. That baby's doing a year. They're on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. Cardi just has a drape on. You see her heavily tattooed leg, her stomach, which Offset is kissing. So she's kind of like naked under this drape. She says she doesn't like the cover. Well, Cardi, you pose for it. Congratulations to Neo and his wife, Crystal. Uh, she had to have an emergency C-section. Roman is a little boy's name, but mom and dad are doing fine. There's so much going on. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. And if you like what you see, if you like it, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment because I'm learning how to do the whole comment thing. But thank you for joining us. I'm Patty Jackson. It's not cute not knowing. I'm your auntie of pop culture.